Yay, I finally got Lego Ninjago movie minifigures. Hello everyone, it's Vok here, and today I am super hyped because I am opening up seven packs of the Lego Ninjago movie minifigure series, and this is by far my favorite Lego CMF series. Uh, these mini minifigures are just amazing, and I can't wait to get these packs open. So finally, my local Walmart uh, has stocked these. Took them forever. Like uh, these came out the first of August, but you know now it's September. So uh, geez, but um, these are just amazing, and I can't wait to get them open. And if you're the first one to spot the hidden minifigure in this video, then and comment the name down below, then you will get an extra entry point to my Mech Mock Mayhem contest. So now, with that said, let's see it. Alright, so opening up the first pack here, this is the first ever Lego Ninjago Movie Minifigure Series pack I've ever opened up, so super hyped, and I'm just going to cut uh, the seal right here first, there we go, and now I'm going to pull it open the rest of the way, and dummy on the parts, this is the Sushi Chef, yes I have a felt these just so I won't get a repeat, like always. There are all the parts, lots of your parts. There's the package. I like uh, cutting it from the back, just so then I have the entire package. All right, so here is the sushi chef, and this main here looks fantastic. I love the printing on it, the torso. That looks really nice, and my favorite part of the main here is definitely this sushi right here. This looks fantastic right there. You can see that this is a different sushi print than uh, the normal one that they use for a lot of Ninjago sets. And you can see right there, there's like the fish, and also uh, there's the rice, and then this is the seaweed. And you can kind of have uh, him kind of cut that with this right here. So you can kind of cut off the top of it and cut up the sushi roll. And they do give you an extra piece of sushi right there, so that's really nice. And that's just going to go on the side right there. Then right here for the uh, accessory that he holds in his hand, it is this, and the first time I got this, but it does uh, look very nice. And then right here for his torso, you can see that has this trip printing on it right there. And I really like the belt or where it's crossed right there. That looks really nice. And this is a uh, really nice dual bolted legs right here with the boot printing. That looks super nice. And I'm pretty sure these are the same ones they use with the Bad Scientist from uh, Series 50 or, sorry, Series 40. The Monster Series. Then, for his back printing, it uh, continues on the like shrimp detail, I'm pretty sure. That looks nice. And the belt. And then, uh, right here, you can see for his face printing, it has a very kind look on it. And this mustache right there, really like that. Very useful. And uh, right here, here is his headpiece, which uh, is both dual molded and printed right there because he's straight. Are printed on and those look super detailed and very nice I really like that so overall this is just an amazing minifigure and let's move on to the next pack so opening up the next pack here I've already cut it from the back there we go and dumping it out it is the shark army journal number one so this minifigure is one of my favorite from it, the series. Oh wait, there's still one thing left in there. And it is these, let me push them out. There we go. And these, and these are quite interesting because it's the first time I've ever seen this type of thing where you have to punch them out in a collectible minifigure before, but I'm really glad that they do have them because they really add to the minifigure and just make hair look amazing. And something else interesting is when I was feeling this minifigure, uh, the head and hair are, were actually attached together and still are, and I did not do that, so that is very interesting. I have seen uh, some other people have gone in some pieces attached on in this uh, Ninjago movie series, so that's kind of different, not seeing that in any other uh, Lego minifigure series before. And this main figure is definitely one of my favorite main figures from the entire series. And she comes with some bubble tea right here, or I think it kind of looks like a 
unicorn frappuccino, but it could also be a smoothie or something. But that is the uh, mold from the Simpsons series. It's the second one that I've gotten, and this just looks great there. It's just molded in this pink color and has some nice printing on it too. And you do see as character really uh, like slurping on that in the, some of the trailers. And then uh, right here is this new hairpiece, which is exclusive to her so far, and looks really great right there. And I really like the face print right there. And then the same figure is also first made figure to use these uh, thin plastic pieces that you punch out too, I'm pretty sure. So she has no back printing right there, but the torso printing looks really nice. And I like all uh, the badges that she has, and there's a strap, and also uh, right here for the legs, there's some nice uh, fish like scale printing right there, and that looks really good. And then just some dark blue arms, and this main figure just looks really good. So let's open up the next pack. All right, so moving on to the third pack here, I'm just gonna take these scissors and make this there we go. And dumping it out. Let's see who this one is. Super excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's Casual J. This is one of my favorite main figures. Well, actually, my second favorite main figure from the entire series. So I'm super happy to get him. And here is Casual J. So it, this is Dalek Brick's favorite minifigure from the entire series. My second favorite because this minifigure looks absolutely amazing. My two favorite parts are the foam print right here and the hair piece. So I'm just going to take a look at the foam print first. And this is just a 2 by one tile right there, but it looks amazing with that printing on it. You can see that it has a J because he just took a selfie. And there's a really nice uh, detail there for a speaker and the front camera and then a button right there. So that's really nice, and I love the uh, design of this selfie stick build. Really like how this came out using the lightsaber blade and this one by one clip piece. So that looks amazing. And then his hair right here is a fantastic new hair piece. All the ninjas' hair pieces are. And this hair piece uh, just looks super detailed, and this uh, hair piece would actually work really good for my sig fig if I uh, haven't cut my hair in a while. So ju just like just too good. So this hair piece works great and looks fantastic too. And it's not rubber at all, which is very nice. So then right there for his face print, you can see that it has uh, you know some freckles and stuff. Really like that. And no back face printing. Was kind of surprised about that. But taking the head off right here, you can see the scarf piece, which is a harder plastic than I was thinking. I was thinking it was probably going to be rubber or something. But it isn't, which is actually really good. I like uh, the harder plastic pieces much better. But I'm actually going to get a couple of these, just like Dalek Bricks. So then I can uh, paint the scarf to look like the fourth doctor. And I can also use the hairpiece on a custom just to get or my sig fig. Same thing with these legs right there. So then uh, taking a look at the torso, you can see that it has uh, just a lightning bolt on it. So it looks very interesting. I do uh, really like Jay's style that he's going with here. So, uh, there is how the scarf attaches on, the head just kind of goes around it, or the scarf kind of goes around the head. Then, right here for his legs, you can see that they are a very uh, basic looking print, but very useful. I'm going to actually use them on my sig fig, so they just work fantastic there. And that is pretty much it for Casual J. Now let's move on to the next pack. So, the fourth pack here, let's see who it is. There we go. And going over the bag. Who is it? It is. It is the Green Ninja Lloyd. So I think this thing here is very good because you know you can't uh, get him in any other sets except uh, Temple Ultimate Ultimate Weapon. And whoa, okay, that's uh, surprising right there. His head is actually attached in just like the other one, so that's, I've never seen that before with any other series, but now I've seen it several times. And here is a close look at the Green Ninja Laloid, and the same figure just looks phenomenal, just the 
printing on it, the uh, torso and arms, where it has tons of these little black diamond shapes is just amazing and just such a nice little detail right there. And this me figure I'm pretty, uh, is exclusive because of this 2x3 blue printed tile of these uh, blueprints for his Green Ninja Mech Dragon. And right there in that reflection, you can see a face reveal. Not really, though. But those are super detailed and look really nice. And you can put those maybe in his apartment. And I uh, hope to uh, see him at master building his Green Ninja Mech Dragon. I think that'll be a really cool scene. And then right here, if you haven't seen these masks, uh, they're just a two-part mold right there. Where there are two parts. One goes below the other. And they did that uh, just to make where uh, you can have it where the mask goes down farther around the face and just looks better in my opinion. And this overall I think is just the best form of Lloyd we have ever gotten. He looks absolutely amazing and right there you can see that printing and this is a dual molded piece. So that's really nice. There is his face printing. It looks really cool there too. And then right there you can see his torso printing which has some really nice gold detail on it and the belt. Not quite sure what those symbols say, but you can see more of the little diamonds printed on it just to continue that really nice detail. Then here for his sword or saber, which is kind of interesting. That's a saber, but uh, I do really like it, and this is an exclusive multi Lloyd. It's slightly rubbery, and then it has this golden tassel attached onto the bottom right there, which is kind of using the same type of uh, pieces, or not, not same pieces, but kind of the same way they uh, cook pieces together for the chains. Then the arm printing also has this little green band on it. There's this lotus printing on the back right there. And then his legs just have some nice ninja wrappings on them. And also, they give you uh, the extra hair piece right here. So you can take off the head very easily like that. And then hook on the hair. So that is really cool there. And now let's open up the next pack. Fifth pack right here. Get it open and see who we have. Alright, so this one is Flashback Garmadon. One of my favorite. Looks super awesome. I really love his uh, style. Alright, so this version of Garnet right here is the one that you see in Kilko's flashback from the trailer, and he looks super awesome. I really like this uh, hair piece that he has, which is from Larry the Barista right there from the Lego movie, just done in blonde, and I do like getting more blonde hair pieces. For the face print, he has uh, some super sweet looking sunglasses on right there, with some nice gold printing too, and it is a very uh, funny looking mini figure with this incredibly long tie right there. And then uh, he comes with this camera, which is just the normal camera piece within a stud right there. And for the uh, tile, it's a 2x2 two two printed tile piece with his Volcano Fortress right there. So I love the exclusive printed tile on this minifigure. And then there's a closer look at the torso printing right there with the humongous tie and the leg and the legs, excuse me. And also, uh, this minifigure is the first minifigure ever to have four dual molded arms, which is crazy, and I do really like those. So this me fear is a very cool one. All right, second to the last pack right here. Let me just get into it like this. There we go. And now opening it up the rest of the way. Let's see who we got. It is the one of the shark army guys. This is a shark army octopus. You can get the rest of the pieces out. And this one I'm actually building a vehicle for because he is one of my favorite shark army uh, guys. So, because uh, octopuses are one of my favorite animals. So, uh, for the shark army octopus, he just uses fish. No weapons sticking out of it. Yep, just a fish. For his other weapon, it is a stud shooter, and that fires just like that, of course, and they do give you three studs right there. But uh, for his head mold right here, I love, love, love this mold right here, which is, of course, an octopus head mold, and it just looks amazing, and uh, I really love all the different uh, Shark Army guys with these exclusive head molds. I do wish the other ones uh, had where the head molds were separate, so then you could use them on other stuff. But uh, right there is his face print, and he it looks like he has a little bit of a scar right up there. And he looks pretty beaten up. And then for his torso printing right here, or not torso, but shoulder pad printing, it has a little bit of a charge thing there. So uh, that looks very interesting, and I just love this piece. It's a new mold. 
and you know if it had different printing on it or even with that printing it can be used for a lot of different like uh, space stuff and underwater stuff so that's really cool and then there's this torso printing pretty basic but uh, does look nice and then there's his leg printing and I do love it the color scheme of these shark army guys no back printing and now let's open up the last pack opening up the last pack here and unless my feeling skills are wrong this is my favorite minifigure from the entire series so I'm so 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 hyped to get this one open there we go and breaking the seal let's dump it out and yes I am correct this is in pop girl so I've had a really hard time choosing which one's my favorite if it's Jay or uh, in pop girl but I've decided it's in pop girl just more of a unique figure because you can't really get her anywhere else so here is in pop girl and the same figure it looks absolutely amazing I especially love the use of Harley Quinn's hairpiece from the Lego Batman movie and the uh, Unikitty reference on the torso right there because Unikitty is one of my favorite uh, characters from the Lego movie that's why I, that's one of the reasons why I like the main figure so much so for her accessory right here she has a teddy bear done in pink and uh, this entire main figure is very brightly colored so to get a closer look at the hairpiece you can see that it has this layer blue color and this layer pink color and this is the first time I uh, have gone on this hairpiece and it's a very uh, big one probably the biggest hairpiece I have and very nice looking too with the detail and right there for the face you can see that uh, she looks very happy there and uh, for the torso of course it has uni kitty on it which looks adorable right there and then there's the back printing then for the tutu right here it does uh, have some lo lots of printing on it actually and that looks nice right there and then for the legs right here you can see that they do have the stripes on them right there and also some very colorful boots right there and this is the first main figure ever to have two dual molded legs because this leg up here is white with green on the bottom this leg right here is uh, white with blue on the bottom which is super cool I do really like that and you can see them from the back right there so that's it. pretty much it for this main figure and I really love how this one came out so taking a very quick look at the checklist right here, you can see that they do have all the main figures, of course, and just a great background, and then right there uh, is all the, um, or how to build some of the main figures, so pretty nice right there, and now I'm going to mark off all the ones I got today, so I have a green Ninja Lloyd, Casual J, Shark Army General Number 1, Shark Army Octopus, Flashback Iron Dawn, Impop Girl, and the Sushi Chef, so uh, those are all right there all seven and they are absolutely amazing and I can't wait to do another pack opening video out of the seven right here tell me in comments below which one is your favorite and that's pretty much it all right guys so that's pretty much it and I really hope you all enjoyed this video in next video I'll be drawing the winner of the Mac Mock Mayhem contest so you guys can look forward to that so thank you all so much for watching please like comment subscribe for daily Lego videos and I'll see y'all next time bye